Uh, wasn't born here, but I moved here and learned to walk on Cocoa Beach three years before NASA was created. Not only has Dale Ketchum grown up with the U.S. space program, he's watched it transform the economies of communities surrounding NASA's Kennedy Space Center several times since the 1950s. For 50 years, roughly, the Florida Space Coast was the place for launch. Launch, but not production. Most of the equipment used in the Apollo and Space Shuttle programs over those years was shipped to Florida for assembly. Landing here down and locked. When Atlantis touched down in 2011 on the final shuttle mission, it marked the end of an era in human spaceflight. As launches decreased, the Space Coast's economy suffered. In 2011, unemployment was 12 percent at that point. The economy uh, and its outlook uh, were, not, were not strong. Brian Baluta, vice president of the Economic Development Commission, or EDC, of Florida's Space Coast, says that's when his organization offered a concept that could change the fortunes of the area's workforce permanently. And it started with uh, taking the unusual step of uh, reaching out to the companies who were likely to produce the successor to the space shuttle. Uh, at the time, it was called the Crew Exploration Vehicle, uh, and there wasn't a contract for it yet, but we reached out to Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman and, and Boeing, the companies that would likely compete and win for that contract. And we uh, made the unusual pitch of if you win the contract, not only should you consider launching from Cape Canaveral, but you should consider assembling your spacecraft here. The concept took off. Just like diversifying a portfolio, if you diversify the area with your products, you can ride through those lows. Kelly DeFazio is a site director with Lockheed Martin which won the contract to create NASA's next generation spacecraft to transport humans back to the moon. The crew exploration vehicle, now called Orion, will be the capsule of the upcoming Artemis missions. Some of Orion's components are pieced together at Lockheed's new Star Center near Titusville, Florida, including wiring harnesses. This is basically the, uh, the nervous system, so to speak, exactly. of the, uh, of the yeah, capsule, exactly. right? And the application of thermal tiles that will protect the Orion capsule. The panel that actually covers just adjacent around the hatch, so the side hatch would, would be right here where the white foam is. DeFazio says excitement is building. We're going to take humans farther than we have ever gone before. When I was growing up, uh, with the original seven astronauts in Cocoa Beach, it was, a, it was a, really a frontier town. That Wild West description is also how Ketchum characterizes the present-day Space Coast, with government contractors and private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and the Airbus OneWeb partnership jockeying for real estate and launch access. We just had an announcement that there will be a small launch company called Astra coming here. Uh, to build small rockets for small satellites, which is a big new component of the whole space industry. Uh, they're the first small rocket, really small rocket, to come here, but we've also got Firefly, Relativity coming, uh, and others will be coming after that. The more the merrier, says Ketchum. Not only does it help the local economy, it also keeps the United States competitive globally in a new space race. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Cape Canaveral, Florida.